Hi, I'm Ali from Smart Apps for Kids. I'm going to give you a peep today into a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, which is a virtual ebook. It's sitting enticingly on this beautifully laid out table. It's got a well worn cover and it's got a rustic binding, so maybe that means it's already a favourite with others in the virtual family. And they've used it a lot. So let's open the cover and have a look. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Written by Charles M. Schultz. Narrated. Each page has a hidden leaf to discover. The autoplay mode is recommended for very young children reading on their own. There we go, so three reading modes. You can turn up or down the music and the sound effects and you can jump to wherever you would like to in the book. When you reach the end, drag the edge to turn the page. It was time to give thanks for family and friends and delicious food. But Charlie Brown wasn't feeling very thankful. Oh, Charlie. What's the matter, big brother? Nothing. I was just checking the mailbox. It happens when we slide down. <laughs> Can't get snoopy, yeah? What did you expect? A turkey card? Holidays always depress me. I know what you mean. I went down to buy a turkey tree. And all they have are things for Christmas. As Charlie Brown and Sally headed home, Linus came around the corner. What's all the commotion? We've got another holiday to worry about. It seems Thanksgiving Day is upon us. I haven't even finished eating all my Halloween candy. Sally, Thanksgiving is a very important holiday. Ours was the first country in the world to make a national holiday to give thanks. What are you going to do on Thanksgiving, Charlie Brown? My mother and dad and Sally and I are all going over to my grandmother's for dinner. Why don't you come along, Linus? We can hold hands under the table. He looks thrilled by that idea. Charlie Brown was relaxing at home, trying to forget about the holidays when the phone rang. Hello? Hi, Chuck. This is Peppermint Patty. Do you kind of miss me, Chuck? Well, I, uh... That's okay, Chuck. I know you probably can't talk because someone's listening. We'll keep these intimate things to ourselves, Cook okay, first Chuck? First one yourself for your friends, and then you go to your grandmother's with your family for the second one. I can't cook a Thanksgiving dinner. All I can make is cold cereal and maybe toast. That's right. I've seen you make toast. You can't butter it, but maybe we could help you. Woodstock got right to work. First, they found a table. Then they added the tablecloth and place settings. Toast to butter. Popcorn to pop. And candy to put out at the table. Are we going to have a prayer? It's Thanksgiving, you know. Before we're served, shouldn't we say grace? Year 1621, the pilgrims held their first Thanksgiving feast. They invited the great Indian chief, Massasoit, who brought 90 of his brave Indians and a great abundance of food. Governor William Bradford and Captain Miles Standish were honored guests. Elder William Brewster, who was our minister, said a prayer that went something like this. We thank God for our homes and our food and our safety in a new land. We thank God for the opportunity to create a new world for freedom and justice. Amen. But Peppermint Patty was not impressed. What's this? A piece of toast? A pretzel stick? Popcorn? What blockhead cooked all this? What kind of a Thanksgiving dinner is this? Or did you invite yourself and us too? Gee, I never thought of it like that. Do you think I hurt old Chuck's feelings? I bet I hurt his feelings, huh? Marcy, maybe you can go to old Chuck and patch things up for him. I don't feel bad for myself. I just feel bad because I ruined everyone's Thanksgiving. 
But Thanksgiving is more than eating, Chuck. You heard what Linus was saying out there. Those early pilgrims were thankful for what had happened to them. And we should be thankful, too. We should just be thankful for being together. I think that's what they mean by Thanksgiving, Charlie Brown. Good grief. It's four o'clock. We're supposed to be at Grandmother's house for Thanksgiving by 4.30. I'd better talk to her and explain my dilemma. Hello? Grandma? This is Chuck. Uh, I mean, Charlie Brown. We're going to be a little late. You see, I invited a few friends over, and they're still here. Everyone was invited over to Grandmother's for a Thanksgiving dinner. Over the river and through the woods to Grandmother's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the slave wine and drift Snoopy and Woodstock were celebrating Thanksgiving too. Oh, that's good. And there wasn't a pretzel stick or a piece of toast in sight. <laughs> I should have guessed. There we go. I hope you enjoyed having a little look inside at Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving.